Hi, this is Amit Naik from Thousand Eyes, and today we're going to look at the Comcast outage that happened this morning. We can see here in this vi uh, timeline view uh, the impact on one of the Comcast services, which is Xfinity.com. And this timeline is showing us HTTP server availability, and we can start seeing that at about 9, 10 a.m., uh, 9.15 a.m. Pacific, uh, the service starts to take a hit, and this goes on for about about three hours until the service is restored at about uh, 12, uh, 12, 10 p.m. Pacific. Looking at the geographical scope of this outage, we can see that it starts uh, generally in the northeast of the country and then spreads all the way throughout. Uh, and it's, it's pretty widespread and it's also affecting some users connecting from Europe. Also, looking at the error status by phase, we can see that there is there are a considerable number of connect errors, and connect errors are indicative of uh, network issues that are affecting the service. So if we can jump into the network view and look at the path visualization, uh, this shows us, of course, the timeline shows us the, the packet loss that is being observed across the network at this point in time. And then the visualization can show us exactly where the traffic is dying. And we can see here that in one example, for that is actually dying at the edge of the Comcast backbone, right? And it's it's 100% it's packet loss that's uh, affecting a uh, large number of tests. What is also interesting is if you look at the BGP route visualization, we can see that uh, there are a couple of different prefixes being announced. Uh, they're uh, both slash 13s, but if we jump into uh, the slash 20, we see that it appears at about 11 a.m. Pacific. And it's announced from a one of the Comcast ASs, which is at three six seven three three, and which only appears with the Comcast Backbone AS, which is seven nine two two, and it's being announced uh, to all the providers at this point in time. So what we think is going on here is that uh, Comcast is trying to steer traffic around the failure so that certain services can be restored, and this can be achieved by announcing longer prefixes. Uh, that will allow you know certain traffic flows to be redirected across uh, across failures. What we also see here in this timeline is that uh, while the service returned to normal around 12:15 uh, p.m. Pacific, uh, shortly thereafter they withdrew this uh, slash 20 route from the internet, as we can see with these dashed lines uh, uh, across the uh, across the internet. And uh, since then, we've seen service has been fully restored, and at least the Xfinity.com service, and there have been no further network issues observed on the Comcast network. What is interesting about this outage is that uh, while it was primarily within the Comcast network, it had a lot of ripple effects across the internet. And that's because Comcast is such a large network operator that they appear with almost every ISP in North America. And uh, any issues that impact Comcast also have a ripple effect down across the internet, right? So this underscores sort of the interconnectedness of the internet. Uh, so change in any one part can have ripple effects throughout the internet, uh, which can impact uh, your customer's ability to reach your services. Start monitoring your services today with Thousand Eyes. Uh, sign up for a free trial at www.thousandeyes.com slash sign up. And you too can begin monitoring availability to your services and understand the impact when there are widespread issues across the internet like we have seen right now. Thank you and have a great day.